Hi, I'm Sarah Hugis. I'm Autobahn Vermont's Education AmeriCorps member. And today I'm at Beaver Pond and it's a beautiful sunny day. Um, we're going to talk about an animal that used to live in this pond, but unfortunately doesn't anymore. The beaver, the pond that it's named for. Um, beavers actually used to live here. There are tons of dams and lodges, but a few years ago there was a landslide that filled up the pond with sediment and unfortunately made the pond a little bit too small for the beavers. So the beavers moved on out and went elsewhere. We're going to talk a little bit about what makes a beaver such a good engineer, how they're able to build all of these things and live on both land and water. So we're going to start with the head. Beavers spend a lot of time underwater and they're not swimming with their eyes closed. They have a special uh, membrane that actually goes down over their eyes like another eyelid, but it's see-through called the nictating membrane. So there's my nictating membrane. Now I can see underwater. So I don't know about you, but sometimes when I'm swimming, I will get water in my ears and it feels pretty uncomfortable. And beavers spend a lot of time underwater. So they have a special adaptation on their ears that allows them to plug up underwater so that no water can enter it. So I'm gonna plug up my ears to keep them nice and safe. There we go, I'm gonna lift my nicotating membrane up a little bit so I can see my other items here. Um, so yeah, they can spend up to 15 minutes under the water and these are two really important features that allow them to do that. Um, my next feature that I'm gonna put on is a warm coat because beavers spend a lot of time in the water, like I said, and that means that they're going into the water when it's winter time and it's really cold. So, I have a nice sweater to put on to re resemble my beaver fur. Here go my ears. Put those back on. All right, so now I am nice and warm in my beaver fur. Beaver fur is really cool because it has a special property that kind of wicks away water so that when beavers do leave the water, they're not like drenched and soaking wet. I know that when I get out of the water and put on my towel and it gets really wet, I get pretty cold. But beavers have a special oil that they secrete that they comb into their fur using a little back toe that's kind of like hook shaped. So my fur alone isn't enough to keep me warm, although it is really nice and insulating. I have a special layer of fat that is underneath my fur that keeps me nice and warm. Lots of animals have this, especially during the winter, so that they are not cold during the colder months. And the next thing that I'm going to put on is something that's really characteristic of the beaver. It is my beaver tail. So beavers use their beaver tails to help navigate themselves through the water. They also use this tail to slap on top of the surface to warn other beavers when they sense that danger is coming through. It's kind of like their rudder and their alarm system. So yeah, there's my tail. And another thing that helps me swim are webbed feet. So only my back feet are webbed and my front feet have claws. So I'm gonna put these on my feet the best I can. They're a little small. There are my webbed feet. Now I am an excellent swimmer. And then I'd like to show you a beaver skull. The beaver skull has these long teeth. They can even be longer than that. And this special coating on the front that's an enamel that helps keep their teeth nice and strong because do you know what beavers eat? They eat wood. Not very appetizing to me, but they love tree bark and eating flakes of wood. You can tell that a beaver has just snacked on a tree if you see fresh wood shavings around the bottom of it. Um, but something else that's really cool about these teeth is that they actually never stop growing and part of beavers gnawing and chewing at trees helps keep these teeth nice and short and manageable, but also really sharp so that they're kind of like in scissors. So I'll show you that nice up and close. And last but not least, this is a beaver chew. 
So some beaver once upon a time snacked on this chew or snacked on this piece of wood. And you can see that it kind of came to a point. And I'm gonna bring it even closer so that you can see those teeth marks from the beaver's sharp teeth. Must have been pretty tasty. Thank you so much for joining me today and turning me from an average human into a busy beaver. I'm ready to go have a snack on some wood and go for a swim in beaver pond. Hope to see you at the center soon. Hey everyone, it's me, Sarah. Um, I'm kind of stuck as a beaver now. I think that the Autobahn magic worked a little bit too well. I was trying to be convincing, but not this convincing. I guess I'm going to go eat some wood and enjoy my new life. Bye!